This is the Zodiac Cyclonic Leaf Catcher. This is the Zodiac Leaf Catcher. It's designed for the locking hoses, but it also comes with the adapters for regular standard universal hoses. So if you have another brand of suction side cleaner or an older Zodiac cleaner, you can use this canister also. So the great feature is a quick release here. Also the fact that you just pull the center part out without having to touch the debris. It was made out of the durable hard plastic that the Zodiac cleaners are made out of. You can see that it has an O-ring on top to seal it so the air doesn't get in. It's also made out of hard clear plastic and it has a nice handle to grab it with. Okay, the top is marked for easy insulation. You have the arrow pointing towards the cleaner and the arrow pointing towards the pump. And it also has a large capacity for debris. You can see it's fairly large. Inside the box is a user manual. So I'll show you the installation in the video here. Here's a look at it underwater. Now when you pull the canister out of water, you can see the water drain out of the bottom here. That's a nice feature to make it a lot lighter. Okay, I'm going to put the cyclonic canister to the test here. This pool has had the palm trees trimmed. Quite a lot of debris down there. Yeah, you can see the canister getting filled up here by the debris in the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and empty it now. It looks like it's pretty full. You can see here it's pretty full. You can see none of the fine particle debris got in here to clog up the basket. The canister held up pretty good here. So the skimmer attachment stays the same, you just adjust it once you put the canister in, that way it's vertical to the pool. I'm going to attach the hose here that goes into the skimmer. And then once it's on there, you want to turn it, lock it in place. And I'm going to do the same thing with the one that goes onto the cleaner. I'm going to turn it, lock it in place. It should lock really easy. I turn that with one hand, no problem. So here's how it should look in the water. You have that hose there and you have the first hose going into the skimmer here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and submerge it and let the air out real quick. Let me just connect this hose. And once all the air comes out, you can attach that hose. Okay, I reattach the hose there and I'm going to feed it through the skimmer here. And that's how the can should look in the pool. It's got the first hose, the hose going to the cleaner. If you have the canister hooked up to a side port, it comes with a special elbow. You have to replace the one you have now. It actually swivels a little bit. So that way you can adjust it so the canister is vertical in the pool. And I'll show you what that looks like in the pool right now. You see how the canister is not vertical in the pool? You want to go ahead and just come over here. You want to turn this elbow. This part here on top is the part that swivels. Keep turning it. The canister like that in the vertical position. This pool with a Zodiac Wahoo in it. It has the regular universal hoses here. This is very easy to do. It comes with all the parts you're going to need. So you're going to stick this one here, the part that goes by the cleaner, and the one for the pump. You stick this one on. Just make sure you turn them so that they're all the way locked in. Okay, go ahead and turn the pool off. Go ahead and submerge the canister. Put the air out. And this says cleaner. You stick that there. And the end that says pump. Stick it in there like that. So it looks something like this here. You have this end going towards the pump and the other end going towards the cleaner. And with those adapters, the universal hoses fit on there, no problem. Okay, there's a couple ways to clean the canister. You can pull the whole thing out and clean it, or you could just simply disconnect it here, the handle, by twisting it, lifting this off, and pulling it up. This point here, some debris gets in the pool. You find that method causes too much debris to leak out. Just simply disconnect it from this hose this hose here and just pull out the canister. Once you have the canister out, very easy to clean. You just pull up on this yellow tab handle, pull it right out. All the debris sticks in there. You just dump it out. After cleaning it out, you simply reinsert it. And it's ready and to go back in. a quick look at the beef canister here by Zodiac.